Alrighty, so the first trailer for Fate of the Furious. I don't know how I feel about this title, but anyway... Fast 8, Fast and Furious 8. The first Furious trailer for it has dropped and it's massive. It's over three minutes long. So yeah. we're going to find out how big <laughs> this film is looking. I'm um, sure it's going to be pretty big uh, because obviously they're just progressively going like that. Um, we have never really been into the franchise. It's kind of been against everything that we kind of dig. But at, at the, the same, same time... I have seen them all. Can't say I haven't really not enjoyed them. And... Yeah, like there's a lot of cringe stuff and there's, it's like they're super misogynistic and like I, Vin Diesel quite grating, but at the same time, like, there's a lot of good elements. Like, the action choreography is really, really good. The rock's great. The rock's really, really um, good. He had so much more when he came into it. Yeah. So hopefully so, he gets some more scenes in this film because and last time it was there. It is directed by uh, F. Gary Gray, who just did Straight Outta Compton, so hopefully... He absolutely smashed that. So. Hopefully this turns out good. Obviously, Charlie Theron, Hel Helen Mirren is, like, Let's just do it. Let's, Let's do it. Let's do it. These guys are taking this personal. You were only supposed to create a diversion, Roman. That was complete destruction. What you want from me? I'm Roman Pierce, man. It's what I do. Would punch Harry Gibson, though. Phase two? What's phase two? Bounds away. Holy s***. What, mate? There's definite deaths in there. <laughs> you know what I like about you, Dom? You're a genuine outlaw. You were family. The hell of a job, brother. When we get back to the base, beer's on me. He's about to go up against the only thing they can't handle. You. Really good flow, actually. Why is Dom gone evil? Did you ever think you'd betray your family the way you did today? Dominic Toretto just turned on us. Well, well, well. Do you look at that? I don't know why really? he's doing this, but that wasn't dumb. I'm really into this, actually. That's she's a pretty the cool setup. Definition of high-tech terrorism, and now she's working with your guy. I think I found my team. This should be interesting. This is actually a really, really well done trailer. Like that? This is impossible. Which is why you're gonna need a little help. Like it's I will flowing beat you like really a nicely. Cherokee drum. We are about to go on like oh, that took longer than I expected. If you're gonna catch Dom, you guys are gonna work together. Surprise. I just fell in love. I've been waiting for this. We got a tank. Let's roll. Here they come. Love the sound. I don't know if the old Dom is yeah. in there. I don't give a damn. I'm taking you down. So right over. This is play. huge. Oh, this is massive. Why are they shooting at me? I don't know. Maybe because you're in an orange Lamborghini. Shut up, Cash. Switch it, switch it up, like. And there we go. Switch it up, speak up, box, blast. Speak up, box, blast, go. Let that tat tat in front. We are about to go up like. We're gonna need a bigger truck. I'll take it. I actually thought that was a really, really, really well made trailer. Like. Dom! You gonna turn your back on family? And then you remember the dialogue. Anyway. Yeah, that was a no. It was a pretty solid and pretty well made trailer. The, you know what I'm keen to see is what on earth the stakes are for Vin Diesel's character for yeah. him to actually turn. Because I swear to God, if it turns out to be mind control, I'd just about shoot myself in the cinema. But the thing <laughs> is that, like, yeah, I don't know. Like, the stakes have to be pretty high for him to all of a sudden turn on all these characters that he's been with for such a long time. Yeah. Obviously, there has to be a threat there. The only thing I'm a little bit confused about is. Sorry guys if this is a spoiler, but from everything that I knew, Jason Statham is playing the brother of Charlie Theron's character. Yeah. So does that now mean that that was actually meant to be a reveal inside the film? And so then that's going to turn out to be like a third act climax or something? 
So yeah. the thing is that, that, and I'm not saying that like that was Obviously everywhere. We didn't see any Helen Mirren either, but yeah, that was pretty much everywhere. We had seen that like they're all like it's like family versus family type thing, and like Helen Mirren, uh, Helen Mirren's like the matriarch of the family, and she's like the top. Um, so I'm not too sure whether they changed it during production and thought, oh my god, hold on, we've actually got something that we're going to change here, and this is going to be a reveal in the films. So let's hide it from the media. I'm not too sure, but that's what I originally heard, and that's what, yeah. that's what I thought about. So um, that's, I mean, that's interesting. I, I will say, like, the uh, the sequ action sequences looked really good. I think the thing that I found, like, after really, like, I really didn't like Furious 7. The thing since then that I've found is that you can't go into a Fast and Furious film and apply the same logic you would to, say, like, Mad Max or Jason Bourne or something. It's a completely different flow of thinking. So that's why, like, while I'm watching this, I'm like, that's one of the most smoothly edited trailers I've seen in a long time. Like, it did look... I, I'm kind of almost keen for it. I can always say I'm excited for it. Um, and yeah, obviously I'm just interested to see. It's over the top. It's full on. Um, I still hate Tyrese Gibson. Vin Diesel still annoys me, but there's a lot of elements there that I still really dig. Yeah, and I do really dig this step for them plot-wise yeah. as well. Like, as a story, I mean, obviously they've been kind of getting, oh, let's get the fan back together one more time. So yeah, it's like, it's kind of cool. get them back together? It's kind of cool that they're splitting them off as well, because it also kind of looks like Vin Diesel doesn't have many lines, and you know, yeah. that, that's a that good thing. That works for me. The less he talks, the better. So, yeah, it's obviously going to be different without, um, without Paul Walker, but we'll see. We'll see how we go. Yeah. Um... Anyway, not too bad of a first look. Pretty pretty damn solid. A really well-made trailer, I'm going to say that much. Anyway, what do you all think? Let us know in the comment section below. And while you're down there, it's probably worth hunting down our subscribe button and hitting it so you can see more from us when there's more. And we're also on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Breaking Bad and check us out.